All right, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 13th to April 19th, 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out uh, the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such and as well. If you're interested in learning how to read tarot cards and you like the way I do it, uh, you can sign up for my online tarot classes in which I'm going to uh, explain you all of the um, major arcana for starters and uh, how you can read them in terms of career, relationship, negative meaning, positive meaning and as well in a dedicated spread that it is meant for the course and a spread that I'm using for my private readings most of the time. So that being set aside, moving to the spread straight away, the uh, first card which uh, represents the uh, topic of your week, Leo, it's a bit of a morbid one. So let's cross our fingers for the next of the cards. <clears throat> that will be the Ten of Swords. Uh, the energy uh, is going to be the Hangman. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's strange. To be honest, I, I don't remember facing this um, facing this combo throughout my whole career in term of uh, in term of tarot. I mean, it's, it's very strange. Anyway, so next one, it will be the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is the challenge of the death card. And now it makes sense. Oh my God, it makes a huge sense. So, um, next one, it will be the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy. That is going to be the judgment, followed by the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. I mean, look at that. We do have so many majors. Uh, that will be the star one. And the last, which uh, represents the guidance that Tara is offering for you guys, that is to be the Three of Cups. Okay. So, uh, for what it seems, that is to be quite of a week. Uh, first of all, uh, actually, we have to talk about the first three cards here. Because otherwise, these two separately taken, they just don't make sense. That's why I said it's, it's so strange of a combo, because it's, it just it doesn't make sense. Because I'll try to tell it that way. The energies tell you that you can't do anything about it, while the Ten of Swords shows you the situation that you can't do everything about it, and it's just they are killing each other, um, kind of like contradicts each other to, to their bones. So, but the Death card here glues everything. So what happens is that, first of all, it's going to be a challenging week. Many things are going to start moving around, many things are going to be in flux, many things are going to go away, many things are going to start appearing into your environment. This is what the death uh, it's, it's expressing. And why it is a challenge? It is because your first instinct that you're going to have throughout the week, that is, it is to sustain what it's, it's dying, you know, what, what, what does not what does not want to be around you anymore, or what does not serve any purpose to you anymore. You know, that could be job, it could be a relationship in a most morbid way, but it could be a things like hobby, it could be like a, um, a kind of like the most mildest thing that I can think of. It is that your favorite, favorite show stops being broadcasted for one or another reason. You can't do anything about it. That is the, uh, the energy of the hangman, but with the Ten of Swords, which is the situation, it's kind of like you can make some drastic moves to uh, substitute it with a thing that may not be the same. It's not going to be the same as a manifestation, I mean, as a, um, as a physical representation, but it will be just as equally good. Okay, so the TV show may be... Um, substituted with a nice book that you can read, okay? end of relationship it could be substituted with some sort of other endeavor that does not make you think of this breakup or this end up or, or, or whatever okay so <clears throat> that being said those three cards they have to be read community cumulatively are pointing that uh, it's so things are gonna start changing into your life okay they, they are in flux and like said uh, some of them which are not serving any purpose to you anymore are simply going to stop existing but and you can't do anything about it that is um 
with the energies usually the death card is very how can i say it very mm, conditional and milder meaning that if you so much want to you can borrow its time but the more you borrow its time the more the more painful the severance will ha will, will happen when it's it's kind of like the end of the line when, when you have no um uh, how can I say it? No resources and no capability to borrow its time any further. All right. But here with the hangman on the energy, you can't do anything about it. It's just beyond your control I, I, and it ends throughout this week. And this is where the situation happens of the Ten of Swords. The first initial impression of the ending. It's, oh my God, it's so bad. It's, I, I, I don't have it anymore. Whatever that is, okay, because it could represent that your car may break as well. It means having a car ends and you can't do anything about it right now. Nobody's working, nobody's going to fix your car because everybody is afraid from the coronavirus. So, what do you do without a car? Well, you'll find something different to do without kind of like traveling throughout the town and uh, kind of like fill up that time that you are using spending um kind of like driving your car maybe it's a shitty example but it, i hope that i am getting my point across to you so things end you can't do anything about it and uh, it's it's simply you have to figure out how to substitute him with a different stuff so uh why why this is good for you you may ask that it, up until this point it sounds a as a terrible week right it's oh my god it, it does sounds like the world is ending uh not quite so the hangman into the second position while it tells you that the energy deprives and stops one to do whatever they can about the ongoing enterprises which in this case are ending and they are going to end up most likely suddenly and many of you are going to take it as a catastrophe okay while it isn't that severe uh, the hangman as an energy also pushes you to start changing your perspective to see that life exists even without it or even beyond it uh, there was that say a band that my brother was uh, listening back in its youth and they were singing something like living in a world without you or something like this i i forgot about the band but pretty much the song was about a uh, unfulfilled love and finally you know the the uh the main protagonist healed and realized that there is a world without you or without her or without him and that is the core reason of the week here to understand that everything can be replaced okay there isn't um a mandatory thing thing into our life love can be replaced job can be replaced uh, a, a, a home can be replaced as well a, a car can be replaced i believe that that is also a hindu principle because when i was working for a, a english company there was that uh, Hindu preaching guy and he told me that we got to take it easy because everything comes and goes. You know, your your job comes and goes, uh, your hobbies comes and goes, interests comes and goes, your family even comes and goes. What we are left at the end is ourselves and what we can make out of everything that it is coming and going. And uh, are we happy with the manifestation of those products? So finally, for those uh, three cards, I'm going to tell you uh, here, Leo, that you shouldn't struggle and try to um, sustain uh, kind of like uh, uh, the ending or rather like to keep up what, whatever wants to end its life. I don't know how to say it in your life, but instead embrace it. And as soon as you do so, you're going to realize that there are so many other things that you can do that you can replace it with. And with some drastic actions, you can definitely overcome the poignant feeling of the situation pretty, pretty fast for a couple of hours or maybe, you know, for a day or two. So what is the gift and the blessing that, uh, I'm sorry, that you are to enjoy throughout the week? Uh, with the judgment card, judgment it's as a gift and blessing. It's uh, it, it's about a couple of things. The first one, obviously, wake up call, meaning that the new things you are to like better than the than the old ones. Okay, so at the start it would have seemed that the world is ending, while at the end you are going to, uh, at the end of the week you are going to uh, kind of like adopt the standpoint that it is better that happened that way. And thank God that the universe finally kind of like uh, guide your hand 
through it in a sense of that uh, you know uh, on its own accords differentiate what works for you and what doesn't work for you, for you you know what is going to serve its purpose for you and what is not going to serve its purpose for you and the other thing about the judgment as a gifts and blessings it is that um, uh, it's very common that the uh, a big tarot reader said that the shaft uh, falls into the hub meaning that everything falls in its place and it's now working as a well-oiled machine okay so uh, that being said if you're uh, environment it does look like very unstable and uh, as well kind of like very insecure and chaotic as well that is mainly because the things you are clinging at the start of the week are not exactly substantial they are uh, basically overstaying their due and they do no longer serve any purpose for you and that's why they need to go and the universe is going to make them to go and you should not struggle against it but instead embrace it like said with the cards because that, uh, the very least, is going to allow you to have to start adopting a different perspectives for life, for your career, and for your relationship life as well. Which is exactly how people are going to have a look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be with uh, the star card here. People are going to feel you very hopeful and optimistic for the future once you undergo the ordeal of change. Okay, so if, uh, first of all, you have to embrace the change. You have to make those drastic actions or radical actions rather to substitute whatever is no longer present in your life and then people will see you know how much more helpful you are and how much more um, I don't know if the word should be efficient uh, what I am trying to say here it is a like a person that the whole life is in front of them okay that finally they do have now a, a big horizon to grow and to unfold and to develop as well because the star card does represents high ideals unfolding love and uh, and all these kind of stuff but into your environment or into this narrative of this start reading people just are seeing you as a person who finally has a uh, worthwhile fulcrum point goal agenda that they should follow and it's agenda that at least at that point it uh, gives them the benefit not to experience any turmoil or it gives you the benefit not to experience any turmoil so what is going to be the guidance here uh, and that is the guidance of the tree of uh, cups so the tree of cups it's a very superficial card in this uh, particular narrative pretty much it does uh, urges you not to uh, withhold any kind of thoughts any kind of feelings and any kind of emotions what i mean is that if you do like somebody tell him if you hate somebody tell him if you love somebody tell him it is because with the tree of cups it's very important that everybody knows what everybody feels things and experience toward each other because the card points that you are going to face this change these times of changes and readoption much better if you do have people to cooperate with if you do have people to share your good and bad fortune as well and those people can only be found sincere i mean to cooperate with only if you all know what each other is something for the another um, so what what each other means for each other i don't know how to say it in english but i hope you get my points across so pretty much that's um uh, that's your weekly tarot reading leo it's a big one uh, it does look like that your life is not going to be the same after it at least uh, for what it seems or at least if you do not struggle against the change but you rather embrace it it's only good things are going to happen out of it guys it's, it may not seem like that way at the start at least but you are going to see at the end that it was it is happening for the better so yeah that was your um, weekly tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and um, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and if you like the way i read tarot cards and you're into tarot you want to learn to read the same way i'm offering an online tarot classes uh, in which in the beginners class i'm going to teach you how to read the minor the major again i'm sorry uh in terms of love in terms of relationship in terms of positive aspect in terms of me of uh, negative aspects and, and as well how they sit into a dedicated spread for my life courses and as well it's a spread that i use 90 percent of the time in my private readings it's a it's a it's a brilliant spread and can give you the answer to almost any kind of question it's just i very seldom resort 
to another to other different spreads in case the question is uh, way too complicated so yeah hopefully you're gonna stay safe now and uh hopefully we're gonna see each other next time until then bye